Let's follow the yellow brick road. Brakes off. Those wheels steering on. Our cargo today is very mixed. We have uh, two LD-10 signal-seeking missiles. We have... Um, we have uh, two GBU-12 laser-guided bombs. Tracking. We have uh, two Tracking. pods of laser-guided rockets. And uh, the general idea for Tracking. this mission is that we will be hunting Tracking. air defense Tracking. sites. Tracking. Now, I don't know if we are going to be able to do this successfully. I don't know. But uh, we are on our way. Either way. It appears we have uh, at least two contacts close to our perimeter, but there's a lot, a lot of hornets in the air right now, and a lot of tomcats in the air, so I'm not really worried about the air threat situation. As long as I can find out where on Earth there will be enemy ground forces. Uh, then I can most likely do <coughs> a proper job of taking care of them. Or so I hope. Laps. Radar is on standby. Everything is set and good to go. Tracking. 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 Tracking, tracking, tracking. <coughs> Sorry. We are flying Altitude. a wee bit heavy here, Altitude. but Altitude. hopefully we will be able to make it either way. We'll try to reach at least 10,000 before we um, start any offensive flights. We don't need the engine on full burn to maintain such a climb either, for that matter. We are on 3000 and climbing. Switching weapon systems to air to ground mode. Checking the stores manager that every weapon is um, as advertised. L we are going to begin the engagement with the LD-10. Buster arm on. LD tents are powered on. We're gonna have to um, adjust our trim a bit too. We are flying with a horrible Franken load today, meaning that uh, trim is going to be something we need to watch extra carefully. We do have a couple of contacts near a AF-17 right ahead, close to an F-18 as well, but I can't really tell if these are contacts I should be worried about or not. Cancel the flaps. 8,000 and climbing. Radar is off, standby. I'm gonna put 
this on Ferdy. In the we have a friendly JF-17 there that is uh, engaged with, looks like to be a MiG, yeah the MiG hit the water. We are gonna be slowing down a wee bit and we are going to see if we can get a... So we can even go for Al-Dahid or Ross al Kaman that are both occupied by Iran. So those two will be our main options. I would say that my uh, radar screen is a little bit too crowded for its own good right now. I would actually prefer to be less crowded. Because if it uh, was less crowded, then I could make up the dam sites far better. But I think we got a SA-8 site straight ahead. And um, I'm gonna be slowing down a bit. And uh, we're going to try and prosecute the target with an LD-10. Aquila 5 1 uh, prosecuting SA 8 on 045. We have a friendly bird close by. We also have an, what appears to be an SA 15. But it all comes down to how far away those targets are, and I can't really determine that at the moment. I would think that they start somewhere at the base of the mountains, around somewhere here. We also have an, uh, what appears to be an F-18 cap, currently returning from similar areas, but I would say somewhere around here. But we have the SA-15 in our scopes, that, it appears it is however further away than anticipated. We only have the general direction, we don't have distance to it, and that is going to be a problem for us. Never mind the fact that the SA-10, SA-15 just hit off the scope. Looks like we have most of the friendly birds close to Stannis and the carrier. Of course, I could just get a missile off and uh, hope it will hit the target, but I would r like to have some kind of distance. But yeah, if we consider Ross El Kamarin to be about where the target should be, then hopefully that will be enough. And that will be the village at the foot of th at the foot of, uh, of the mountains there. In fact, it should be straight ahead, right there. Let's see. We have the two. Where are the two roads? Oh wait. I'm just gonna fuck. Yeah. I think we are actually being locked on by that SE8. So we are going to take evasive action. We're gonna send him a. Radar seeking missile, and I think I was just on the verge of getting a bit too close there. We're going to go into avoidance. Oh, and of course, it's gonna take a while for us to actually find our missile here. But, um, looks like I don't know if that missile is actually tracking anything or if it's just heading for an empty patch of ground. 
That remains to be seen. Ah, uh, that would be an empty patch of ground then. So we're going to turn around and we are gonna do this again. Coming around on vector 045. Fuel status is okay. track of the SA-8 again, and it should be straight ahead now. I'm gonna wait a little bit longer, because I think that SA-8 is actually not as far away as that, or it's so close. Ah, never mind. Fuck it. Magnum. Tracking. Yeah, that is uh, not really the sound I want Tracking. to hear. Tracking. Because I can see the fucking missile! God damn it! Tracking. Tracking. We are too far... Too close, too close. Tracking. God damn it. Missile, missile, missile. All right, switch to BR BRM rockets Missile. and Missile. prepare to engage. We cannot assume that my... Oh, wait. Abort. I say again, we abort this. I haven't configured the targeting pod and uh, trying to engage the same site without configuring the pod first is going to end very, very badly. In fact, I am kind of tempted to just climb and re-engage with the paveways first. Because the paveways are... might probably going to be a far better option for this. <sighs> so, yeah. Let's disengage radar. Go for pod. Online and on gauge. We're trimming the aircraft. Fuel is becoming an issue too, so um, we might want to use this opportunity to stay out of range. Uh, get the payways gone, and then maybe return to the international airport for the refueling. And once we might e even not just refill the weapons there, just you know get more fuel, because we're we're not carrying any fuel tanks today, and uh, that might be a poor choice. Confirm, seeker is working. A little more contrast. I can see red smoke. I got visual on red smoke. I wonder if that means we are actually attacking this area. But more to the point, it also means that there might actually... I might actually get a visual on something I want to drop a bomb at. Such as whatever the hell that is. But that, that might actually be trees for all I know. Well, we know there's an SA-8 somewhere in, the, but it might actually be in that village, close to that smoke. Actually, let's just deliver straight on the smoke. Back. 
Or not. Tracking. Track. I do not have eyes on the missiles. I say again, I do not have the eyes eyes on the missiles. I don't know if uh, the red smoke is marking anything that I should be paying extra attention to, but I think the rockets are going to be a, a far better option for this. Uh, we are arming them and setting on Salvo 2. Salvo 2 and rolling in with rockets. We have far more of the rockets as well, so we can afford to waste them on targets that we are unsure of. Fuel is about half, so Tracking. we need Tracking. to consider that. Tracking. We are Tracking. not really Tracking. in range, but... Um, Fire! We're gonna open it up with two pairs of rockets, and we are going to see what we will be getting out of that. More to the point, we're also going to uh, have a look what we can do to... Uh... Yeah, we're... We scored some hits, but I'm not sure about what we've actually hit. That is actually part of the fun with DCS. You're not act you're not always sure about what the hell you just attacked, or if your attack was successful, or if your flight was successful. I mean, sometimes you just need other people to confirm the hit, or... I mean, I'm not even sure I attacked something that was worth attacking here. We have an F-14. Unknown F-14 in uh, Top Gun colors uh, above Dubai. Please be aware there are SA-8 in uh, current area of operations. Shoot, uh, enemy F-14. Copy that. I'll handle it. Well, that turned interesting. We'll switch to magics and uh, let's see what we can do about it. Missiles are online. I don't know where the hell he went. And I don't have him on uh, the data link Giver for that matter. There we got him. So we're gonna take this ba bad boy and then we are going to head home. Because uh, our fuel status is not going to survive a dogfight. Shooter splash Iranian F fourteen uh, Thomas the bike. Well, at least we killed something then. 
There's a lot of stuff burning on the ground there. I think that might be parts from the F-14, but... Let's see, fuel is in the yellow, so I think we are going to return to base. At least to refuel. We have enough weapons to last us through another, f another flight, but uh, the fuel status is definitely going to be a problem. So we are going to exfiltrate the area and grab some more fuel. We might even be grab replacing our rockets entirely with fuel, depending on what is available. Because I would like to have a little bit more staying power over the target. Let's see here, Dubai International is probably going to be the best option for refueling. So we're going to be slowing down and preparing for coming inbound for landing on Dubai. We're gonna see if there are weapons available to me there, or if I'm just gonna have to keep flying like this. We have Dubai International. Oh, wait, that's Sharia International. Uh, Dubai International traffic, uh, shooter inbound. If you're wondering why we're not, not picking Sharia, it's because, well, it's a smaller airport. The JF-17 needs a bit of a panache in its life. Extending air brakes to break, the, break uh, our speed a bit. Yes, I am Captain Obvious today. It's um, I've been basically playing Dragon Age for most of the day, so my brain is a bit mushy from all the story. Also, Dragon Age is fucking awesome. Never played Inquisition, though. So this is going to be fun. I mean, we are going to have to land with a very, very balanced airframe. I mean, god damn it, what on earth do we got here anyhow? So, I'm just gonna check what runway that will be, runway 30. Dubai traffic, shooter inbound, runway 30. Landing gear. Ah, uh, that is. N Landing gear. Let's hope I'm not too fast. Landing gear. Oh wait, I ah Landing fuck gear. this. I fucked this up. I fucked this up bad. What I did? No, wait, I didn't fuck it up. Good. Ah, uh, I was so fucking worried there for a moment. I was worried that I extended my landing gear at too high speed. Because if you do that, the JF-17 is not going to treat you well over it. Uh, in fact, the JF-17, with 
are going to break the landing gear if you extend them over a certain speed. There are not really that much to prevent you from doing that. And I am an expert in breaking the JF-17 that way. But however, the nose wheel managed to extend and... Uh, yeah, when it comes to landing the the, 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 the Jeff, I'm not really an expert. Uh, I'm not an expert on landing anything, uh, but I've become better with, with practice. But the only plane I can reliably land is the Vegan. That is the only plane I can reliably land. So, but I, I'm not gonna jinx it before I've done it. So. Interestingly enough, we are now coming in on one of the uh, shorter runways here, but that should hopefully not be an issue at all. And if we're just coming in exactly where we're supposed to... No flaring... Touchdown and deploy. Kill the shoot. Get this in. I think we should be trying to park closer to some of those storehouses. Brakes are closed and we should be good. I'll stop and do we get more weapons? First of all, we are gonna get more chaff. We're gonna get more fuel. So that's that part. Uh, I'm not sure I wanna get more LD-10s. I'm actually not convinced I want more LD-10s. But there... Alright, so let's, let's do it like... Oh, crap. I can't actually... Ah, uh, okay. So weapons here are very limited. I can't get any missiles. And I can only get standard-ish rocket pods. And I can't get... Okay. So that will make it a little bit more difficult. But uh, let's just grab standard-ish rocket pods. Um, we're gonna keep that pod, we're gonna keep our GBUs, because we can actually arm GBUs here. If we can't arm GBUs, we'll just get more GBUs, and we'll get unguided rockets instead. That'll be a fair trade. Request refueling. Request Copy. rearming. And Copy. then we'll simply have the crew Copy. upgrade the... Copy. Tracking. DTC card. Tracking. 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 So while they're doing tracking, that, we might actually tracking. have a look on what everyone else is doing. So we have uh, Night 1-3, Night 1-1, one one, and Night 2-4. That are currently on patrol off the coast of Oman. And they are followed by Misfit 5-1, which is uh, AV-8 Harrier. Now, the, the Harriers are playing. I really should be flying more on this. Also, it appears like uh, there are an F-18 returning to the carrier group. And currently... 
Crafty. And currently at least one F-18 standing by to take off from Crafty. said carrier Crafty. group. So, Crafty. they are going to be operating cl close to Oman, I missile. think. Missile. Missile. Well, the, the missile warning can missile. Wi missile. and will missile. be triggered on the ground. And this is usually... Refueling complete. Okay, so refueling is complete. Uh, let's just get grab missile. some more GBUs missile. then. Tracking. Tracking. So, Tracking. my game plan for missile. Next, missile. next mission is going to be take off, missile. and missile. we are going to be heading up and see what uh, Night Squadron Tracking. Tracking. is doing Tracking. close to... Oh man! So we are probably going to gain some altitude and try and find... Rearming complete. Okay, so now we got the rocket pods, we got the GBUs, everything. I'm just gonna check what kind of rockets we got. Yeah, that's high explosives. Good. Uh, so now we are going to have... Now we're going to eject the cartridge. And we're gonna tell the ground crew that we need them to update it. Then we are going to enter the coverage. Done. And we are going to lock in navigational data, stores manager data, and everything else. As you can see here... Uh, oh, we are 511. We are 511 for the 7th Division Shooter. Nice. Signed by U-Boats. Okay, so we are reloaded and good to go. So, um, we're just gonna follow the yellow brick road. And we, once that is done, please and brakes. Now, no soul steering is on. Entry team, high ground reports, additional suspects are now on scene. Welcome, you are just in time for the second mission. We have been tangling with an SA-8 so far, we shut down an Iranian F-14. Oh, that's actually a host. Oh, god damn it, now, now performance anxiety is going to kick in. Because, holy shit, a host with 32 viewers. Um, I don't really know what you expect to see here, but if you can Entry team. Additional operators have just arrived. <laughs> yeah, if you if you gotta if you want to see me crash the Jeff, this is this is gonna be it. <laughs> Honestly, I've been doing a very shoddy seed so far, so it's Entry going team. To... Additional operators have just arrived. Welcome to the party. And by that, I mean the Communist Party, because by viewing the stream, you are now all property of the government of China. I mean, Chinese yet, that's Entry all. Team. Additional operators have just arrived. Oh dear, this is never gonna end, is it? <laughs> well, let's see if we can't get some bo- oh wait. I can't get some bombs on the ground if I'm gonna be hitting that fucking sign, am I? Alright, so we are going to be departing this, and hopefully we are not going to make asses of ourselves while doing it. Current cargo is 4 GBUs, uh, 4 rocket pods, and wingtip heat seekers. And so far, the only one we've used to some effect has been the wingtip uh, heat seekers. If that is a MiG-31 coming in to spoil my day, I'm going to be pissed. I mean, we had a couple of Hornets clearing out the mix earlier, but if they... they pretty bold. Probably come back. And, of course, my trim is set for the Frankenload I had earlier, so... Now I'll have to retrim everything, gears are up. Pretty good on this.
So the first warning we are gonna get of any MiG 31s shooting at us is probably going to be us falling down in a big great ball of fire. That would not be fun. So we're checking the F-10 map. We see that most of the F-18 squadrons are currently heading up to Oman. So we are probably gonna get some altitude and join them because if you're gonna be flying on a PVE server, then teamwork is actually kind of a bit of essential. I've been playing a bit on my own here, dueling with that SA-8 site, but uh, just grabbing some altitude and seeing if we can help them is probably going to be the better option. We're going to be climbing on at about 5 degrees, rather than anything extra. We have actually a radar contact dead ahead, but that's a two-ship, even. And But we do have a friendly F-16 uh, in the area, so I'm gonna leave it to him. And probably that, that is most likely going to be an absolutely horrible idea. I mean, uh, I don't trust Viper drivers. Viper drivers are jealous of the glorious Chinese machine that is JF-17. So we're gonna be scrapping this and we're gonna pull up our stores managers instead. And we're going to be in air-to-air -air mode because I wanna be just making it safe here. Uh, that That is actually not good. We had our radar tracking on the highest altitude. So, um, yeah. Tracking. Fuel looks good, and it should take us to Oman and back, if we are lucky. I mean, Oman is not that far away. Shooter departing the Bay National, four laser-guided, uh, four rocket pods to hit. Ready for tasking. We could, of course, go back and have a look and see if we can find that SA-8 that bugged us earlier, but nah. I think we are going to be taking a tour up the mountains, and uh, we're going to be flying this way, and then we're going to rejoin. There's actually a Harrier pilot going to town on uh, something in uh, at a Omani Air Base there, so... We might actually do a follow-up to whatever he's doing. I actually did not hear that. But it, I think it was the uh, helicopter driver. He was inbound for Dubai, but I do not know if he was reporting that there was um, any AAA he wanted me to handle, or... Ah, never mind. out to trim as well. So about 95% uh, fuel, we should be good on that. If you ever find yourself in the Jeff, then I have this to say, you are always going to be watching your fuel gauge. You can, you can carry free fuel tanks and you are going to be watching that fuel gauge. There is no coming around it, because the Jeff is not really a long-range machine. It is something that is very, very... Ah, I lost my train of thought there, but... The point is, you're gonna be watching your fuel gauge, and it's going to dictate every single thing you do.
supply to increase, and we should be good on this. Not much showing up on the data link, but I am still tempted to just go back and have a look on on the uh, SA8 here, but it appears that we do at least have combat air patrols in the sector that are going for the enemy fighters that are most likely going to be above here. Now, apparently we have deployed some kind of friendly forces there, and uh, we have the Harrier going in for gun runs on enemy targets, so I think we are going to be keeping... We're going to be climbing, and we are going to see if we can deploy our weapons at the same target. I mean, if we have four GBUs, then maybe even the we can get the Harrier to lace for us. But then again, uh, I can probably do my own lacing just as well, as long as I know where the fuck to aim. So while we are watching that, I wonder where the other F-18s went. There were more F-18s, there were at least three F-18s that left Stannis, but uh, Night 2-3 and Night 1-4 are currently still there. They just vanished off the face of the earth then. Well, we got the Viper and the um, Harrier still pounding on targets. So, uh, we should be going on a vector closer to... We can't take too much of a way around, because if we do that, we are not gonna be... Oh, there's an F-14 F on my scope, and it's unclear if that is a friendly one. The F-10 map, since no. And, um, and I don't want to deny the Viper Driver the kill either. I mean, if he's loaded for Captain... He, he's the one who should be getting it. I do not pick it up on my own radar, though. Not that it matters, I don't really have anything to shoot at it. Wait, there we have a something. That looks like it could be a two group. Shooter Raygun over Oman. Fairly certain I locked on to the Cabinet. So that was indeed the F-16, and we didn't fire, so no harm, no foul. We checked the target, and uh, everything was all right. Okay, so apparently he deployed the troops and stingers onto Dubai International. So um, Dubai is going to have a bit more. Okay, so GBUs are now on the nose. One drop each, 1688. And we, we don't actually have any anything that the pod can log on to, because we haven't actually turned it on. Oh, wait. I get the impression it's actually still tracking the previous... ...place, isn't it? Yeah, it's most likely doing that.
I'm gonna be putting up the pod on this screen instead because it's uh, going to be easier for me to um, have a look. There we go. That is actually kind of kind of funny, because right now we yeah. Let's see if yeah it's it's still resetting, which is kind of annoying. Don't really know why I have for that matter. It could be because I have the GPUs selected, but I don't think so. Uh, I've spent too much time with my mates in the MB339. We are currently playing a mercenary campaign Dragon. in the Pers in Dragon. the Persian Gulf, where we are basically flying as mercenary pilots in the MB339. But it plays havoc with trying to remember the systems on the more modern birds, which is actually annoying when you're trying to get stuff to work. Right now it's basically just pointing straight down, and that's not really a way for us to get any GBUs away. Fuel status is good, and we are coming up on the Omani targets as we speak. Uh, the Harrier is still there, flying combat air patrol. He has a couple of JDAMs, I think. Uh... But I don't know if there's actually anything to attack. He's been basically just patrolling. Okay, so we're coming up over Oman now. Mark 5 rockets, CCIP, E fuse. We're going to try and find any targets of opportunity here. But I'm not sure what targets there will be. can have a look on apparently there is at least smokes smoke a01 and t04 we have the harrier down there and that means the target should also be down there uh, misfits 51 that should I'm just gonna provide overwatch for now, and whatever misfit feels he... I'm gonna see if he's exfiltrating the area, or if he's going to re-engage. I think he's going to re-engage at least once. 
Considering how long he spent over this area, I'm not really overly worried about enemy air defenses. And those are famous last words. So we're moving in on whatever area that uh, is currently marked by smoke. We're gonna be seeing if we can get a visual on basically anything that we need to put some rounds into. So we're going to be taking our reconnaissance and run right now, and I can't actually see anything that needs a bomb into. There appears to be shipping in the bay, but I don't know if that's hostile shipping or not. Most likely civilians, so uh, the United Nations is going to be very, very pissed if we buy and take it. There's also a radio tower on one of the hills, but also, that also seems civilian to me. Mr. 5-1, I am currently in your target Tracking. area. Please Tracking. check fire. Tracking. 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 Well, we could hit that radio tower, but that is that, that appears to be blue, so we don't want to hit that. Uh, I should have planned what I wanted to attack before I before I got here. I should have this keen idea of a plan about what I should be attacking, but I don't actually see anything that I could be attacking. All I know is that the tactical map on the website states that this area is uh, currently under Iranian occupation. That doesn't necessarily mean there are a lot of Iranians to bomb out back to the Stone Age. Especially not since that Harrier has most likely taken up a couple of passes over everything right now. I can see some... That there's a v at least one vehicle down there that is not bombed. We're gonna be. Confirm hits on targets. Pull up. Pull up faster. Tracking. 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 Confirm several rocket hits on the target. And. Not bad. Um, looks like we might actually have enemy units on... Well, that might be wish, wish, might just wishful thinking. But we're gonna be checking out what the hell are those things standing on uh, next to the runway. If those are legitimate targets or not. They might be destroyed. They might be just figments of my imagination at this point. But we are going to have a look... Nonetheless, that actually looks like an air defense and a s trucks. So we got at least one truck and a couple of bunkers that are most likely not. Yeah, they're they're, they're kind, of, kind of scurrying around now. So um, I kind of regret not picking the lace gather rockets now. Because I'm not really getting much use of the fucking paveways here. <sighs> but of course, I didn't really have much of a choice. It was unguided rockets or nothing, so... Don't think I'm ungrateful either, for that matter. Coming in hot, trucks... Not the most glorious of targets, but uh, hey, who am I to disagree?
Well, we have two rockets left. So we are going to do that, and then we are gonna climb, we're gonna get our paveways away, and then we are gonna return to Dubai International once again. How are we? Yeah, we're doing fine on fuel. I don't need to worry about that. Surprisingly enough, as long as you don't have to evade a buttfuck of missiles, your fuel is actually pretty decent in this thing. Oh, and I just realized I need to actually make sure that my pod is going to follow my deepest desires and actually work. I don't really know why it doesn't really work as well after I landed, but uh, I get the feeling I should have turned it off. Well, last of the rockets away. Okay, so get some altitude and... Uh, actually, scratch that. What we are gonna do is we're gonna get some altitude and then we are gonna see if we can't get the... Uh, yeah, there should be a target somewhere around here. And uh, we're gonna get, uh, simply get him on the way back. Because I don't really see the point in uh, killing off a few more trucks uh, with those payways I got. But if the, if the SA-8 is still there, or anything else we might want to get rid of, then we have a perfect opportunity to just climb up and um, try and get it. That is, of course, if my pod is going to um, cooperate here. And uh, I'm not sure that... Nice. Looks like we actually got the pod cooperating. So I'm gonna put up the pod on this one. And cage. There we go. And I spoke too soon. Now uh, let's put on. Okay. Uh, what the hell did I do now? There we go. Every time the airplane says tracking, 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 I have this horrible, horrible feeling that there's something coming to shoot me down. And I'm probably not wrong about that. So we're going to keep climbing. We are going to go to at least 20 or 30,000. And then we are going to stop, uh, start watching for targets for the payways. Tracking. Uh, Tracking. Also looks like there Tracking. is an F-18 currently heading into the target area with uh, AMRAMs and payways. So, uh, I don't know if there's a Tracking. target that, uh, or smoke targets right Tracking. here. Tracking. Let's see if, uh, do we have... Um, JTAC status, no active JTAC. Copy. Alright, so let's just play. Entry team, additional operators have just arrived. Welcome, welcome. Nice to have you with us as we are trying not to horribly die over the red sands of the Persian Gulf. Well, so far, the hor not horribly die part of that actually worked out pretty well for me. Focus. Of course, using the pod to acquire a target at this altitude is not the easiest thing to do. Refocus and good to go.
Yeah. They all look like ants down there, so... I'm kind of keen on not using paveways anymore, because I don't think I can actually find anything that would be worth their time. That is annoying me greatly right now. Maybe we should just bomb Dubai. That was a joke. Not a funny one, though. We have... something down there, but that might just be trees for all I know. I'm not actually sure we have anything worth bombing below us. Counter measures looks good. Checklist, no. Link is okay. There we go. So we got at least uh, a sniff of a MiG 29 at the edge of our radar vector, but that one also seems to have disappeared now. I'm also not reading anything in terms of uh, in terms of things worthy to put a paveway through, so I might actually just abandon that and rearm with something else. Uh, Alamin Hard is of course the base Tracking. that is Tracking. going to Cracking. Yeah, regarding that MiG-29, I get, get the impression that, Cracking. uh... Cracking. Oh, I Cracking. wonder if the F-18 knows that the MiG-29 is actually behind him. Cracking. Because that could be Cracking. a rude awakening for him if he doesn't know that. Either way, I think... Uh, okay, so we got something at least. Uh, I'm not gonna say I'm heading there to try and draw whatever fire they might be putting onto me, but if I can see a place from where there will come uh, dams, then I would be most obliged to put... A Uncle Sam out of his misery. This is all just based on the hypothesis that uh, whatever Sam site is actually along my flight path. Just gonna. Hmm. I'm not actually registering where it could be. Because right now we are actually heading into what should be friendly territory. Oh, uh, and once I reset the, once I activated the paveways, the uh, pod started acting up again. That is not really what I wanted to see. And whatever SAM site we might have discovered has also just evaporated as well. So, I think uh, trying to find a target for my payways is currently not something that is going to happen. So I'm, ju I'm just gonna return to base. We are running low on fuel here. Or not really r low, running low on fuel as much as we don't have enough fuel to continue. And, uh, that is actually kind of sad. Especially as I... W I felt that, hey, I finally mastered the payways. I'm gonna go up and I'm gonna use them. And then I'm... Now I've been flying, like, two missions. And I haven't been using the payways, like, at all. It's actually very, very fun, in a way. But 
But I think we are gonna touch down on Almin Had then, rather than Dubai International. The reason for this being the fact that we are need to lose some height. It's drop some altitude and actually have a decent. So, Master Arm 2 off, we are gonna set ourselves into the air defense mode for the time being. And we are going to return to Almin Had with uh, our payways. And hopefully we will be able to put them to some use next time. One thing I do like about uh, Red Sands is that there are usually a bunch of strategic targets that you can engage. And these strategic targets are well marked on the map and everything. I'm still a bit curious about the uh, Aldeed. There are like, there are like, we have forces in the area, but for some reason it still sh shows on the map as uh, under enemy control. So I'm actually going to turn to Aldahid and we are going to see if there's something there worth dropping a bomb onto. Now, Al Dahid should be the settlement right ahead, if I'm not entirely mistaken. Also, our pod have decided to that uh, we should be yeah our pod is acting up again god damn it there we go and then we will be looking Looking Or is it Kabir we're looking at? I'm actually not sure. I think uh Al Dahid might actually be the place up ahead. The place with the skyscrapers and Yeah. Uh, this over here is uh the target area. So we are going to try and use the pod to find some targets right now. But we must also be very aware that there will be friendly units in that town. So we can't just drop on the first thing we see. Badly. Friendly forces in the town are few and most... Yeah, as long as we engage within this perimeter here, uh, this set of roads, uh, we will not be hitting friendly units. Of course, finding the enemy units is going to be very tricky. I set myself up for an approach here, but uh, it doesn't it's not something I can actually drop on because I don't have any confirmation that there was actually enemy units right there. I don't know if that Hornet is going to attack or if he's just going to return to Stannis, but I'm, I'm going to be betting that he's going to return to Stannis or Fujara International. So, yeah, I think we are just going to abort this and set Master Arm. Yeah, we have already turned off our Master Arm, so we are going to be turning around and we are going to be heading back to Dubai International. And then I might actually call it a day. 
still, these missions have been a bit more eventful than they might otherwise have been. We scored an F-14 and we managed to at least use our air-to-ground ordnance in an effective manner over the Omani airfield. So, uh, I'm not really gonna say that everything went to shit on this mission, because it didn't. We have an unknown contact that I had, but uh, I'm not a f fairly certain that it's something friendly. Oh wait, that's the waypoint. My bad. Sorry, a traffic shooter inbound. Landing gear. Oh fuck, I forgot about landing gear again. And when I say I forgot about landing gear, I'm not talking about forgetting to put them down. I'm talking about the fact that the JF-17's landing gear are speed sensitive. And that I tend to extend them early. Which is something you do not ever want to do in the JF. Because you run, you run the risk of... Um, just of your land gear not extending properly. Of course, that is a risk you do not want to take because then you are basically doomed to eject. Light navigation mode. Radar is off standby. So considering I have a bit of a larger audience for this landing than I had for the previous one, I really hope I don't fuck it up. As I said earlier, there's one plane I can land consistently, and that is the Vigan. The Vigan is incredibly easy to land. But I say that having flown literally hundreds of missions in the Vigan. And, to be honest, I haven't spent as much time in the Jeff as I would like to. That said, it's probably something I'm gonna be doing more of, even if uh, I might actually do more Red Sands in the Vegan. Because I'm, more, I'm, I'm just more familiar with the Vegan. And, uh, considering that the Vegan can be tailored in such a way that it's far easier to just get off the ground, but I digress, we'll see. Uh, also, my dadling just picked up uh, flankers. Hopefully they will not try to disturb the landing. So that was Sharia. Shooter final runway 3-0 on Faria International. Fuel is about 40% and that is acceptable. Air brakes. Oh, I might have fucked it up. But I think I can I think I can save this. And deploy the shoot. Oh yeah, right. Uh I'm i I've already expended the shoot for today, so don't actually have one. Alright, so we're just gonna put this plane on parking and...
Yeah, there's a taxiway just straight ahead. We'll be using that one. Or we could just park it right next to that tank over there. Uh, check flaps, check brakes. Yeah, I think we're just going to park it off to the side here. I mean, it's not really something we are going to return to anytime soon, so... I'm just going to be parking the plane here, and to all the people that basically got dragged here by that host, thank you for tuning in. And I will probably return to Red Sand sometime tomorrow in... I... <laughs> no, uh, it doesn't land like an F-16 at all, actually. You need to flare the F-16 a lot, uh, but the um, Jeff have a brake chute. So... Now, I had, I had already landed the plane once, so um, I, didn't I, I didn't have access to the brake chute. But uh, basically you want to stand the F-16 on its hind legs during landing to bleed off most of the airspeed, rather than use any of the other accessories. So the Jeff can land on shorter airstrips than the F-16 can, but it also comes down to the pilot. You need a bit of a... You need a bit of a um, better pilot to land on short airstrips in the F-16. But then again, my favorite joke about the Jeff is that it's basically made for political appointees. So it has to be basically idiot-proof. Now that's, of course, is not the entire truth, but it's true enough to basically be my standing point about the Jeff's systems. And a lot of systems in the Jeff are like that, but the the landing is... <sighs> I would actually compare it to a mix of the Mirage and... Mirage and the MiG-21, because it's a bit peculiar in landing, because you have to watch everything. You, you can't extend your gears uh, too early, because then the airspeed will take them. You can't uh, land too quickly, obviously, because if you come in too quick, the brake chute is going to be ripped apart. So, yeah, it, it's peculiar, but like I said... I would rate it more like the Mirage 2000 landing, more than, say, the F-16, or for that matter, the F-18. But then again, the F-18 is a really easy plane to land. Either way, that is going to be it for me, and like I said, thank you for tuning in. It's been really nice to take this around on Red Sands, and if you want to check out the server, you have the link, uh, I'm actually going to make it clickable for you. And there you have not only the live map, uh, but you also have the Red Sands Discord. Uh, they also have a Caucasus server called Red Snow. And I also think they have a Cold War server, but uh, that you need the uh, uh, World War II set for that one. So uh, I haven't actually been able to try it. Either way, take care, and I hope you people have a really nice and good evening.